Hello, shalom everyone. I am so excited that you have joined me today for another episode of All Things L. My name is Elena. All Things L is not just all about me, but it's really about the one true God, L as El Shaddai, El El Yon, and uh, that uh, let everything that we say and do glorify him is really all for him. So today I want to talk to you about a, re a number to remember in the middle of a war. Now, um, the number is 1778. In the year 1778, it was at the top of the year, it was during the Revolutionary War in this country and um, the Continental Army was badly beaten and defeated. And George Washington, as the leader of the American troops, retreated in a place called Valley Forge. And they went through a very, very brutal winter um, of horrific supply crisis. About 2,000 soldiers died and it was a horrible time I can't imagine the situation that they just wanted to give up and they didn't. And during this time, George Washington um, often would go into the thickets to pray. He was such a man of faith and a man of God, uh, believed in the power of prayers. Uh, there is something uh, that we know legend has is that he was given uh, visions for America. So out of the winter, they left Valley Forge into a place called Monmouth in 1778. So after the brutal winter, they actually went through an extreme summer heat in a place called Monmouth. And that's where the Battle of Monmouth happened. Now, why this battle was uh, important and significant, it was because of this battle that the British troops finally took George Washington and the American troops seriously because they won. The American troops triumphed over the British troops. And it was for this battle, for the victory of this battle, that George Washington was recognized as the father of our country for the very first time. And so it was a pivotal moment in our American history during the American Revolutionary War that um, they kept on fighting and eventually won the number 1778, that's the year. Now, 1778, also I have found coincidentally, again, there is no coincidence because God is in it. Jeremiah, the book of Jeremiah, chapter 17, verses seven through eight. So 1778, I'm gonna paraphrase this. Blessed is the man, the one who trusts in the Lord and whose hope is in the Lord. He is like a tree planted by the water, and um, in the time of heat, he will have, the tree will have green leaf, and the, in the time of drought, the tree will not cease bearing fruit. So how I see this is in the middle of a just extreme heat, right? According to the natural law, we can't produce green leaf. We have to have water. But when you trust in the Lord, when you put your hope in the Lord, you will have green leaf. You will thrive. It's a sign of life, right? Green leaf. And in time of drought, natural law says that you can't produce fruit. There would be no fruit. There would be a famine. But no, 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 no. According to 1778, Jeremiah, that's when you trust in the Lord and put your hope in the Lord, not only that you will be alive, you will thrive. You will bear fruit. You will not stop bearing fruit. And it is a sign. It is a sign of prosperity. It is a sign of thriving when you're bearing fruit. So what it tells me is you might be in the middle of a war right now in your personal life. You may be in the middle of a trial or adversity that you don't know how you're gonna get out of it. But I believe that that number is so speaking to me, like 1778, that George Washington was given a vision and he was encouraged. He never gave up hope. He never gave up trusting in the Lord. And that is the key that 
you will come out and even in the midst of adversity, you will thrive. You, everyone around you will be in awe of how you are still producing green leaf and bearing fruit. And so we feel like we're in the middle of a, of a war in our world, in our nation, and some of us may be in our personal life. But remember the number, a, the number, a, remem a number to remember. But remember, a number to remember is 1778 that you can find encouragement because it is a promise of the Lord what happens when we trust in Him and hope in Him. And you know what? I titled this as a number to remember because that's a number that encourages me to share with you. But there might be a number that God specifically has spoken to you about that would encourage you in the situation that you're in or a situation that your friends or family is in that you are interceding for them or in the midst of a crisis um, of what we're going through as a nation in our world that there is a number that may be a bible verse or a year or birthday whatever it is god could use that to encourage you so today a number to remember from me to you to encourage you and inspire you is 1778. Don't stop trusting and putting all your hope in the Lord because he is the only hope and that you will not only live abundantly, but you will thrive and never cease to bear fruit. So if you like this video and you've been encouraged, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, and share with your friends. Until next time, shalom everyone.